DJ Nelson in the mix. Yo, what is up, DJs? So, here with a uh, Serato Flip tutorial. Uh, I've been using this today, actually. I finally figured this out. So, I'm going to give you, um, I hope to be the quickest way on how to use it. Um, in the past, I thought you had to play the entire song. You had to flip it where you wanted it, blah, blah, blah. Turns out you don't. I feel like a dummy for just finding this out. This is a really helpful tool for uh, especially mobile DJs or people that um, like sample live and stuff. But there are tons of there are other tons of helpful uses for it. So what you want to do is have, as you can see, my mouse have your cue markers set. Have the second cue marker set um, right before I'm going to censor. As you can see, it says the word ass in it. So at this winter formal, I need to make sure that it doesn't say it. You know, I just uh, want to be safe with it in case I drop this. So let's just run through it real quick. We're going to hit the arm record button. Now we're going to hit the number one, which is your first cue marker. Ow. And as you can see, that turned red, turned on, loop. So we're going to take this over here and drag it past that second Q marker. And the letter U is the sensor button. So we're going to hit the space bar and be ready to hit the letter U to sensor. And just so you know, I just hit the space bar. Now let's take this and drag it all the way to the end. And we're going to click the arm button again. Let's go ahead and hit save. And I'm pretty confident in this, so let's rename it to clean. And I'm just going to take that loop off because if I have it on, it loops it. If it's off, it's just going to play straight through to the next song, as you can see. So... Let's make sure it's on. Let's hit this play button. And once I hit the play button, I'm just going to jump to where it centers so that way you can see how it plays back. Hopefully I don't get a copyright infringement for this, but I shouldn't. So as y'all can see, it plays through. I hit the stop just there, and just that way y'all can see that it doesn't like loop again. I'll just play this at the end. So as you can see, that's how I do it. It's clean, it's on. So whenever, let's say I load up Shut Up, I load this on, it's already on. So I can play this track. I can scratch just like normal. I just can't scratch the ass part. So, hope this helped, guys. Uh, if it did, leave a comment, leave a like. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. Uh, more Serata tutorial videos are coming up soon. Take care.